Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at one of the number one selling rear living room travel trailers in the entire country. This is the 2021 Forest River Salem Model 27RE. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I'm super excited to be showing you this very popular, very well-selling travel trailer from Forest River. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. The wind's dying down a little bit, so hopefully you can hear us better. And um, we'll keep trying to you know, catch you in between when blows. Yep, perfect. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Will. Thanks for talking like that all weird. <laughs> Let's begin. Model is 27RE, but the actual tip to tip length of the travel trailer is 33 feet 6 inches. The dry weight is 7,633 pounds, and Will, the hitch weight? 995 pounds. Will, you have one number to remember. That's what you just told me. It's 955. Oh, 955. <laughs> Hang on, let's fact check. 955. Okay. You couldn't see it up on the screen there? No, you probably told me wrong. Right up here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Uh, two propane tanks. And right here, this is going to be where your batteries go. Now, this is a entry-level travel trailer. What I mean is... It is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing, but there is a difference between this being a Salem and that being a Salem FSX, and also different from being a Salem x Lite. It's kind of weird, there's kind of different tiers. This one is the top tier, so it's gonna have a lot of luxury features. For an example, power stabilizing jacks on all of our Salems that we have. Very, Salems, not Salem FSXs or Salem x Lights. Uh, we do have the solar right there and then check out this storage it is not pass through but it is big and deep and i love that coming down the side we do have not one but two power awnings with led lights i absolutely love that right here we have speakers for the outside power plug and a place for coax if you do want to have cable right here we do have the lipper component solid steps right here love this feature on all travel trailers i believe all of them should have it so great example so look right off the bat the sta uh, power stabilizing jacks and the solid steps are on this where if you look at that salem fsx right there it doesn't have the steps or the jacks interesting huh cool coming down the side again a nice power awning on the slide out i love that and around the back really basic trailer and i like that oh uh, nice bumper for your stinky slinky that's where you put your hose in Here's your city water connection, and here's where you put your potable water. Potable, potable, potable. And then right there is your spare tire, spare tire carrier. And look at that bug. Mm. What is that? Mosquito? I don't, I don't like it though. Uh, and then right up there, no ladder for the roof. And then you do have prep for a backup camera. Finishing up, coming around to the driver's side. That's where you hook up your cable and satellite, right there. Uh, right over here, very nice. Here's where you dump your black and gray tanks. Right there, you also have the galley pool. And then check this out, Will. 30 amp, no, 50 amp power cord. It goes right there. And then you do have a black tank flush, another high end feature. Cool. You gonna tell us about the tires? Oh he man. Skipped right over them. Look at these tires, Will. Here, let's do it with this one right here. Okay. Here the Castle Rock ST. I love those. ST205 75. R15. Very nice. And finishing up, we got your water heater right there. Whoa, whoa, the outside of this trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. All right, we'll start up front with the bedroom right here bathroom right here kitchen and dining area right here 
And all the way at the back is the living space. You know what, Will? What? I want to start up here today. All right. You know why? Because we've just been doing this for so long. Mix it we've up been a little. Doing this all day. I just want to mix it up. We're going to start in the bedroom area. Okay. I love this queen size bed, fully walk around. Second air conditioning unit in the bedroom. I love that. I do, I do I, too. I actually did not expect it to have that. Me either. Right here, we do have a closet right here. Interesting. I don't think it's prepped for a washer dryer, but it's very interesting. You do have storage right here. Storage on your side. Perfect. And there is a little hole right there if you do want to run a sleep app through. And then cabinetry above. And then this bed is going to lift up. To connect to that pasture, not pasture, but that one side storage on that side. And then look at these bins right there. That's awfully nice. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> cool. Let's, time for the toilet test. Toilet test so soon in the video. I know. All right. Well, well, go on in there. Okay. Got to do the tall test for the toilet or for the, um, what's going call it? might be okay. The shower. Oh man, talk about saving you by an inch. Yeah, what I will say. Nah. Yeah, I mean, it's re really not because had they widened this out all the yep, way, it, it would have passed. So you're saying it does not pass the tall I don't test? I think it does. Nope, not if you're six foot three. Yeah. It's okay. But in here, we you have your sink and your medicine cabinet right there. Little wardrobe area over here. Sink, storage below. And then, Will, it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. Plastic. Womp, 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 womp. Not a fan of plastic toilets, Will. It sucks because it was comfortable and it was in a good position and it would have been the prime pooping position, but it's not a portion toilet. So it doesn't get the four Ps either. Womp, 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 womp. Over here, why don't you all show everybody the kitchen? All right. All right, we'll start here with the Everage Hill compressor refrigerator. Yep. Again, already we always say this already cooling off. And we've only had it hooked up to the jump box for a couple minutes. Man, I love that. Yep. We've got cabinets here. Uh huh. And I like this design they did on it. Very nice. Nice hood range cover thing. We have it's the Greystone three burner cooktop Ooh, with lights. Very nice. And. Um, oven. An oven right below. Yes, sir. All right. Small microwave. Uh huh. Obviously, not solid surface countertops, no but they deal. did do the uh, nice window there, let in some natural light as yes. you're cooking. Drawers here. And another cabinet there. Nice. This is cool, kind of like a pantry. Very nice. Well, I like that. Yeah, good use of space there. I like that. Yep, it's smart. And then we do have a kitchen island right here. We sure do. There's even a little nook corner right there. Yep. Nice lighting up top, I Ooh. think. Something a little different. Art Deco. That's right. Hang on. <laughs> Art Deco. No. Okay. Um, all right, so kitchen island, double sink. I'm not a big fan of the double sinks. This one, you know, not too bad um because it's still pretty big yep and then they give you the little drying rack and the food washing rack whatever you use it for and a little more storage underneath nice well will it's now time for the msrp all right msrp on this travel trailer here is thirty nine thousand forty one dollars MSRP. Sale price, as you can see here, we're not allowed to advertise sale price right now because it is a 2021 current model year. But Will, I know our sale price will be a lot better than that sale price, guaranteed. And there's four ways people can get the best price in America. You want me tell, to tell them? Tell us how to do it, Will. All right, you can call, you can text, you can email or you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell right here. Or send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or check out our website. Go to mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing. Also, there is a... Oh, and Will RV Review sticker. Boom. There is a contact us page on the website. 
You click that, either Will and I will get back to you, we'll be able to answer all your questions, and when you're ready to buy one of these, we will get you in contact with one of our partners at General RV to do what, Will? Get them the best price in America. Best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Doing the whole thing backwards. Now we're going to be in this kitchen. So check this out. Is this a kitchen? Or a dining room. You got storage underneath with the bin. And storage underneath with the bin. I love the new color schemes here. Yes. The spray tone look. I do too. It is so light. It's hard and to see it with the light, but it, you can it is see nice. It well. And then what I do like is this does drop down to make a bed. Mm. I love this cushion on the yeah. back. And look at all this natural light. It's actually getting me hot. It is. But uh, it's the first time I've been sweating here. Today, yes, sir. Yep. Natural light and everything. Really nice. Also, did you point out the powers? I did not. On the kitchen. Right island. there. Yep. So then over here, we do have your sofa right here. There is three storage bins below, which is very nice. Again, real nice with the natural light and everything. And this does sit directly across from where the television would be right over here. They don't put the TV in to save money, make this very um, price point effective and everything. You do have your Furion sound bar and your Greystone Furion fireplace there. And then finally, finally, to wrap it all up, you have these individual recliner seats right here. Will, these feels good. I like this. You got this uh, cabinet right here. Uh, no storage, but it's a good place to put your phone, your beer, your coffee, your tablet, whatever. And again, to have all these windows around is absolutely incredible. Sure. Is. Oh, and is that that J Lounge? That that the Versa Lounge, lounge it yeah. is. Great. Don't leave yet, folks. This is actually the Versa Lounge. Why don't you show everybody what that means, Will? Okay. So this means, obviously you have the dinette like this. Yep. You have the couch like that. If you want a little bit more space on the couch. Dang. Instead of the dinette, slide this in here. And this one in here. Dang, now you put there that pillow there. Yeah, this goes here first. This way. And then, this fills in. Dang, that is so cool and nice. Now look at that, would you look at that? Look at that. That is very nice. So, and I guess if you jackknife this, it turns into a big bed too. Amazing. A little bit extra room. And as amazing as that is, well, and mm -hmm. as nice as it is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay. Okay. You ready? I totally just blanked out on all three. You go Did first. You? Well, okay. Let's see three things we like about it first then. Okay. Three things we like. First thing I like about it is the new color scheme in here. This is very similar to one of the other trailers. It's it's so contemporary. So many people are switching to the light and the white and the farmhouse look. I wouldn't call this farmhouse. I'd call it contemporary with the grays. They did a really good job with the grays and how they make it work and everything. And I just think the color in here looks fantastic. So that's one. All right, mine would definitely be these big windows. Oh, that was my like, yep. Okay, and I remember my dislike too. Okay, okay, yeah. The big windows for the lighting and space, right? Yeah, definitely. I've had people looking at more expensive units that chose this, not because of a budget or anything, but they just love the big open windows. Perfect. So. And I got my number three. Okay. I, re I remember my likes. My number three is the fact that it does give you two AC units. Yes. Believe me, folks, when you see the aluminum corrugated sides, they're trying to cut costs at all costs. And the fact that they give you two AC units is freaking phenomenal. Yep. So that's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this travel trailer. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Because you reminded me. I also love these big windows. I wish they opened. Oh, yeah. This window and that window do not open. I wish they opened because it would be incredible 
to have a window this big that would slide in and out. Yeah. So that's one. I got another one. Okay. Number two, I look at this wall and I say, what the heck? Right. Give me some artwork. Give me some lights. Give me some drawings. Give me a countertop. Give me something. I don't even know some what art I want. Deco? Give me some art deco on this wall. Something. Something. I don't know what's going on. It's just plain and boring. Just wish I it had something. Yeah. So that's two. And then three. All right. For me, I'm going to go back to the shower. I wish that they had opened this up a little bit more. I've seen other manufacturers yes. do that. Yes. Like they're so close. Yes. And that's you know the I mean? frustrating part. Yeah. It's like the fact that the shower would have worked if it was just a bigger dome. Yeah. 100%. Great yep. point, Will. So. Well, it's getting toasty in here. It is. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, everyone, so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call us, text us, send us an email. Or if you're seriously considering one, right here in a couple seconds, you will see competition to this unit here of other videos that you should watch. But if you want pricing, it's Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com. Or look at that plane. Oh, he's flying low. Or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's the contact us page on the website. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, you know, very popular unit. They made great use of space, great use of design skills and everything. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, let us know what you like and didn't like, and uh, we'll see you next time. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching, and you should be seeing the videos right here, right now. Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.